Hag Sameach, happy Passover. It is the fourth day of Passover, the third day of the counting of the Omer. And this is what I want to talk about right now. It is a special time period where we are able to rectify our spiritual attributes, qualities in this time of the counting of the Omer. As we know that we count a total of 49 days, and then on the 50th day is Shavuot, is uh, the time when we receive the Torah. So it's a very, very special time. So let's get into it. It's very, very important when we read and we have the um, intentions and the Kavanah in our tefillah. Now for the Sfaradim, the Ashkenazim, and also Edut Mizrahi, there are different places where these words are found, and there's a special prayer um, that it said, and I'm going to read the words, and then I want to give part of what the tikkun is all about, and how you can uh, really help to effect oneself, and help to perfect oneself through this, plus some other information. So, I'm going to give the translation. Um, and then we can do the uh, the Hebrew, or we can do the Hebrew, we can do the translation. Okay, let's actually do the Hebrew first. So we read, Rebon she'olam matat sivitanu al yedei Moshe avdechol dispor sfirat ha'omer k'dei letaharenu miklipotenu mit tumotenu k'mo she'katavta v'toratecha u'svartam lachem imacharat ha'shabat miyom haviyachem Et Omer ha tenufa sheva shabbatot temimot tiyena ad mamacharat ha shabbat ha shviit tisparu chamishim yom kedei sheyitaru nafshot amcha Yisrael mezuv lamatam uvecheni hiratzom lefanacha Hashem melokenu velokei avotenu shebitzchut svirat ha Omer shasafarti hayom. Yetukan ma shabagamti bi sfira, and then you add in the sfira over there. The itahir, the et kadesh, bikdusha, shal mala, the al yede ze yushpa shefa rav, the holha olamot, ule taken. Now pay attention here. Ule taken et nafshotenu, the ruchotenu, the nishmotenu. Bikasig ufgam ulataharenu ule kadeshenu bik du shatcha ha'alyona amen sala. Now, translated. Master of the, of the universe, you commanded us through Moses, your servant, to count the Omer. Count in order to cleanse us from our, the, uh, the, the aspect of evil, from our contaminations, as you have written in your Torah. You are to count from the morrow of the rest day, from the day you brought the Omer offering that is waived. They are to be seven complete weeks until the morrow of the seventh week. You are to count 50 days so that the souls of your people Israel be cleansed of their contamination, that spiritual contamination. Therefore, may it be your will, Hashem, our God and the God of our fathers, that in the merit of the Omer count that I have counted today, that it may be for a correction, a takain, to correct whatever blemish I have caused in the sphira, and each day corresponds to a specific sphira, rectification. And may I be cleansed and sanctified with the holiness above, and through this may abundant bounty, meaning the shafa, the bountifulness of God, uh, flow in all the worlds, and may it correct, and this is the part I said to pay attention to, our lives, spirits, and souls from all sediment and blemish. May it cleanse us and sanctify us with your exalted holiness Amen, Salah. So the words over there, the takain, to rectify our lives, spirit, and soul, is actually written again, nafshotenu, v'ruchotenu, v'nishmotenu. Somebody who is more understanding in the verse in the uh, aspect of Kabbalah and the levels of the soul knows that there are five levels to the soul. 
There is called the Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Haya, and Yechida, known as the Naran Chai. These are the five different levels of the soul. So therefore, these three, what we're saying, Nefeshotenu, Ruchotenu, and Benishmotenu, is actually talking about these of the lower three in the proper order. Because this, again, is where the aspect of the contamination to our holy souls are able to reach to. The Haya and the Yechida are well beyond. Therefore, they do not need rectification. They only need to be um, attached to. That we are mindful of those, but we always have those with us. Therefore, the very highest one, Yechida, is exactly that, which is the oneness with us and God that is um, never ever to be uh, damaged or ever to, ever to be separated or it wouldn't exist. So, it's these levels that we need to affect Tikkun on. Therefore, there's a very special Tikkun, and this is regarding saying the words of Tehillim. Now I would like to share with you very important information that we can use during this time of the counting of the Omer. This is the focal point of this lecture, and I would like you all to pay special attention to this. We have 50 days between Pesach, Passover, and Shavuot. We also have 150 chapters in the book of Tehillim, book of Psalms. Having this in mind, we divide the book into three parts. Each one corresponds to one of these levels of soul, which is nefesh, ruach, and neshama. Therefore, Tehillim, 1 through 50, all through none, corresponds to the level of nefesh. 51 through 100 corresponds to the level of ruach. And 101 through 150 corresponds to the level of neshama. So, this tikkun is actually very simple to do. On the first day of the counting of the Omer, we begin, we say chapters 1, 51, and 101. On the second day, we say chapters 2, 52, 102. So today, being the third day of the counting of the Omer, uh, we are going to calculate this based on adding the numbers and saying... 3, 53, and 103. And this continues until the 49th day, on which we say then 49, 99, and 149. In order to make this easier to calculate based on the day of the Omer, the level of Nefesh will always be the same number of the counting of the Omer for that day. For Ruach, we take the number of that day's counting and we add the number 50 to it. And then that will give you the correct chapter to say for that day. And for the level of Neshama, we take the number of that day's counting and we add the number 100 to it. And that will give you the correct chapter to say for that day. Here's a practical example. For the 26th day of the counting of the Omer, we say for the Nefesh level, chapter 26. For Ruach, we say chapter 76, and for the Neshama level, we say chapter 126. Now, the group of these Tehillim, of these chapters, which contains chapters 50, 100, and 150, on the very last day of this Tikkun, these are said on Shavuot. And it's very interesting to point out that these chapters include chapter 100, which is the Song of Thanks, Mizmor Le Toda, and also we have chapter 150, which is the very last, which is all of the Halalukas, that we have the praises of Hashem, of God. This shows you that when we reach this special spiritual cleansing that rectifies our soul on all three levels, now we're ready to celebrate being a fitting vessel for receiving the Torah on an even greater spiritual level. The book of Tehillim, Psalms, is divided up into 150 chapters. Therefore, you have 50, 50, and 50. You begin with the first 50, and you have in mind the Kavanah that you are rectifying by saying the first this is how the order goes, by the way. Now, we're on the third day already of the Omer, so we're already on, the th on three, or Tiferet. 
The cycles work like this, just in short, and I'm sure you can find more information about this, is that we are now in the very first stage of the very first week, which corresponds to Chesed. After that, we go to Govura, then Tif Eret, then Netzach, Yisod, until we get to the aspect of Malchut. Now, we are in and beginning with the Chesed, Sheb Chesed, and then that was the very, that's the second day of Passover, and then after that we go to the Gevura of Chesed, and then we go down to the Tiferet of Chesed, and that is actually today. So the cycle continues, with it every sphere is another sphere. So therefore, is a count of 7 times 7, which brings us to 49, or the very 50th is the day of Shavuot, whereby then we have rectified ourselves, hopefully spiritually, and are in preparation, a fitting vessel and kli, in order to have the relationship with Hashem and the Shafa, and again, the giving of the Torah and the renewal of the Torah as well. So, Having said all of that, the idea is, is that right now you begin when you were counting, and for those who weren't able to do so yet, you can still do it and follow up with this Kavanah. The very, you begin with the first Tehillim, which is Aleph or 1, and you read then 51, and then after that you read 101. So each group of 50 are counted. When you read number 1, you have the Kavanah in mind, the intention that you are rectifying that level of your soul on the nafshotenu, on the nefesh level, on the so on the base life level. After that, you have you go and you read then fifty one, then aleph, and that begins the ruach level or the emotional level. And then after that, you read the next, which is one o one, which is on the neshama level, the higher spiritual level that was blemished. So this is the tikkun that you want to do and that you want to read. Now, understand something else very special. There is that which is called tikkun klali, which was written and actually um, revealed, not written, but revealed, uh, which are the ten special psalms or tehillim that is to be said in order to rectify also one's general um, spiritual uncleanliness. That was done by Rav Nachman of Breslov. Now, he, the source of this actually is found in the Zohar. The Zohar mentions about that there are ten special um, tehillim that are uh, prakim and tehillim that are used for a rectification process, but it doesn't delineate or reveal what they are. Rav Nachman did for us, or Hashem. So if you count up the prakim, the chapter numbers of the Tikkun Klali, starting from the first one, which begins at 16, and then after that going to 32, then 41, then 42, etc., all the way down until you get to the 10th one, which is 150. You add up the full values of those, and you will get to a special number. That number is 700. And 49. Now, why is that a special number? Because if you think about it, you'll see that 7 corresponds to the cycle, the overall cycle of the 7 spherot. 49 corresponds to, like the counting of the Omer, 7 times 7, the 7 nested spherot within the overall pattern of the 7 spherot. So that is 749. That is part of this secret over here, because in it, short, it's a deep cleansing of what we're working on doing and accomplishing in a, a timely manner, as it's the appropriate time, of the Sefirat HaOmer. Therefore, also the seven corresponds also to Passover, the Pesach holiday that we're in now, which we are have for a seven-day period. And then the 49 days after that follows for the counting of the Sefirat HaOmer. You can also take this into the cycle of the Shemitah years, or you have every seven years, you have the Shemitah, and in the 49th year you count, and then the 50th year, like Shavuot, is the year uh, Shara HaYovel, with the Jubilee year, which is also a very special year. So you can see how all these things go into their proper place. Now, here's something else. You also have something which is very important, because we are Yisrael, which is the name like the angels have the last name ending with the 
Allah and the Lambid, we say Kel when we're speaking it just simple, because um, it is a holy name of God. Um, the value is 31, and the sigma of this, of 31, is 496, which is Malchut. This is very important because the aspect of the angels is that their source is really up in the heavens, but their creation and for the purpose, again, is also for the Malchut. This is why everything is linked to the Malchut, which again is the kingdom, which is this world over here, which is the Malchut of the Malchut, which actually becomes in the higher level, actually the Keter, and the end of things. There, we are the Jewish people to have, like angels, this name, which is Yisrael. However, there is still even a higher name that bridges everything together. And this is based on 50. And this is the special name of the Jewish people, which is Yeshurun. Yeshurun ends with 50, ends with the Nun, or the Nun Sofit, having the value of 50. So does the name of the one of the greatest angels of them all, uh, which is known as the Sarhapanim, which is, I'm not going to say it over here, but... Met, um, we're going to go by the name of Matat. His name, full name, also ends with the Nun Sofit. So, therefore, this level of 50 corresponds to a higher purpose that emanates itself from this level of Malchut that is elevated even higher. Having said that, this is a part of why we have the cycle of 50. And this is also part of the secret regarding the Samim. Samim, which are the Samim, the spices for the Ketoret. And the word Samim um, has the numerical value of 150. This is also a hint to the book of Tehillim, which is consisting of 150 chapters. So when one is literally elevating oneself with this in their mind of elevating themselves to all of these levels. He's attaching himself more and more and rectifying himself for the Jewish people, the children of Israel, Am Yisrael, to achieve this level that we will, at our intended level, of becoming Yeshurun. It's very interesting that the word Yeshurun is the word Yud Shin Reish, the letters Yud Shin Reish Vav Nun Sofit. Now, the root is Yashar, which is to be straight, to be direct with God, upright. Just as it is found in the word Yisrael, which is Yashar Kel, straight with God, the mighty, so is it over here, Yashar Vav Nun. The Vav symbolizes six, which is their Anpin of the Sfirot, which again is the Chesed Gevur Tiferet Netzach Hod Yisod. And the idea is, is that that Shafa that flows from the source of those six goes down into the Malchut, which is becoming then the aspect of the seventh, or in this case it's perfection of 50, where the aspect of it refers to the Sha'ar of Bina, the Sha'arei Bina, as well as the Sharei Rahamim that then pour forth into this world. Again, there's a lot on this topic, but this is enough information, I think, to uh, hold people over and to have people do some more research about um, until I can make another video, maybe on these matters in a deeper level. But do these, do these Tehillim, these special um, 150, but do them each day of the sphere of corresponding to its appropriate spherot, its appropriate rectification. I wish everybody well, and may we all be physically in this time, as well as spiritually cleansed and healthy. Amen.